What up y'all? It's your boy KC. We're back here for another video. And I don't even know what today's video is gonna be about. I really just spontaneous just picked up the vlog. I'm on my lunch break at work and I got like a good 10 minutes, so I want to go ahead and get on the vlog. I kind of wanna talk to you guys about I really <coughs> I've been getting a lot of stuff in regards to weight loss and all this about like before the holidays and Christmas and all this type of stuff. So I'm gonna give y'all my few tips that I have that can probably help you gain weight. I mean, I gain weight, lose weight during this time frame and get yourself prepared for the holidays because I'm gonna say this and we all know this when you are say for instance, getting ready for the holidays, you might want to feel like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat whatever I want to eat because it's the holidays when really I don't think that's a good mindset to have really when it comes down to weight loss I feel like you need to try a different approach so let's get into that intro and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel because your boy is going to take a break in November for a little bit and I'm gonna come back and post some more videos and then in um, uh, of course December I'm gonna be doing vlogtober not vlogtober vlogmas so, you know, go back and watch some of my old vlogmas videos. I know they look a mess. Some of them are horrible because I was just starting out doing whatever I could to get the videos out. But yeah, let's get into that intro. Mm So, first things first, I would say this, start now because let me check the date. Today is October 30th, right? And let's just say that you're starting over fresh in November, which is what a lot of people say they are going to do. So, Thanksgiving is not until, let's see. That's crazy. I, I I should know when Thanksgiving is. I see Black Friday, of course, because this day and fourth. Okay, Thanksgiving is on November 26th, right? <clears throat> so technically, if you start now, you have one, two, three weeks to try to eat right, change what you eat until then. Um, that's what I did a couple years ago. I went ahead and just kind of like fixed my mind up in October. I was like, you're going to do it, you're going to do it, you're going to do it. And I started. And I knew Thanksgiving was coming up. I knew I was going to want to eat. I knew I was going to go be around family. I wanted to change how I ate kind of sort of right before Thanksgiving. So technically, you got right at three and a half weeks to go ahead and get started. And I feel like that'd be a great start for anybody. My first thing would be to start trying to drink a gallon of water a day. If you can't drink the full gallon, at least try to drink the half one because it's gonna help you not wanna eat as much. It's gonna flush you out and you can Google all the great facts of actually you know, drinking a gallon of water. I'm not gonna say do a water fast. I'm not gonna say do all of that. If you wanna do a fast, you can watch my fasting video, my intimate fasting videos. You can watch videos on fasting or Google fasting if you want to do that, but that's not the only way that you have to lose weight if you get what I'm saying. So my first thing would say is to try to cut out something that you know that is is a problem for you my biggest problem and my biggest highest weight was sweets and chips and fried food so I cut and drinks I cut all of that out but I know everybody can't do it at one time like do everything at one time cold turkey so you got to kind of pretty much do what's best for you now I would insert some footage of me back then and now so you guys can see some of the difference if you are new here and you're not used to my weight loss journey I've lost I, it's not 200 pounds and I have to stop saying that it's like 170 but I, you know anything over 100 I might as well clarify that it's 200 pounds up in the mirror and see something different you know what I'm saying and you know I just dived in head first I cut off all of the things that I felt like I needed to cut off in order to focus like I cut off six I didn't have sex for a year I cut off um, certain foods that I know I loved. I cut off 
eating a lot of sweets. I cut off everything that I felt like that was holding me back from back at y'all from going to the next level to me i feel like i know a little something you know about weight loss and i just want to share that with y'all so like i said change some of the things that you know are your problems if you know you eat too many chips try to cut chips first if you don't drink a lot of drinks then try to cut the sweets first if you don't eat a lot of sweets and you drink a lot of drinks cut the drinks drinks are going to help you not Drinks are going to help you. When you cut drinks, it's not going to just help you with weight loss. It's going to help your skin. It's going to help your body. And the only thing I drink now is zero um, calorie drinks. Unless I'm drinking like, like Chick-fil-A right now. Like a lemonade or a sweet tea, which is very seldom. I always drink water. Um, cut those things out. And it's three weeks. So weigh yourself on the first day. And give yourself three good weeks of you trying to work out for at least 30 minutes a day. Whether it's walking. A little jumping jack, um, a jump rope, riding a bike. Do something active during the time that you're cutting those things so it's a two-way win. And the water's going to help because you're going to sweat the water right back out. Or pee the water out, whatever, whatever you decide to do, honestly. Once you do that, I would say try to incorporate, you know, as you begin to hit a plateau, your body is going to let you know, like, hey, I need to do something else. Like, this is not working for me. And you're not losing no more weight. You feel stagnant. That's when you can up your workout schedule. That's when you can go in to trying to eat more healthier, like meal prep or whatever it is that you want to do. But this is just to give you a little leeway before Thanksgiving. Because after that point, you'll have like another two or three weeks before Christmas even comes. So, you know, give yourself enough time to do it. If you can force yourself to do this during this pandemic, during the holiday time where your body's at the most stressful, I'm a stressful eater. So I really had to learn to adapt to not go to food when I'm stressed out. And sometimes I still do. And it scared me sometimes when I'm not in the gym because it made me feel like I'm gonna revert back to my old ways. But you know, when you're on a journey, you know it never ends. It's like a forever thing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. And I just recommend you just fully devoting yourself to the process and understanding that it's bound to happen. See, some people don't wanna wait that it took too long. I can't listen. Mine happened. It seemed like it went by so fast, but it also felt like it went it started so slow. Cause I remember when I first started, I felt like I wasn't losing weight. Like, but sometimes it's in here rather than what you can see. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew I was losing weight, but in my mind I couldn't see it, and I was stopping my own blessing. So make sure that you're not doing it to yourself, okay? And what else can I give y'all that'll pretty much help y'all? I don't really care for counting your micros and counting your calories. I feel like, you know, you can do that, but that was one of the things that was real stressful for me. I couldn't do it. Um, so you can try that and see, does it work for you? Every person has a different body. So when you're watching these type of videos where people are trying to give you tips on how to lose a little weight during this time, do this, do what works for you and make sure that you're comfortable in doing it. You know, whatever it is that you decide to do. Um, but you know, as long as you think about that first and before you do it, I think you'll be good. And I really think that's it, y'all. I really think it ain't too much more that I can really say outside of that. It's really simple. Now, of course, you can get the goalie gummies and help um, help you along the way because they do work and they work great. Of course, you can get some Timmy blends, help clean your system out like the skinny tea or um like their colon cleanse so it's like so many things that you can get to help enhance it but before we go to talk about enhancements you gotta have it in here first and you gotta know that this is something that you want to do hope this video helps somebody i love y'all i do try to answer y'all questions as they come in one by one this that, and the fourth but when you have so many people asking questions sometimes it get lost if they're not on like a recent vlog because if you go back and comment on the video got a whole bunch of comments on it it goes to i don't know i can barely see it. and sometimes y'all comments be held for review i'm still learning how to be a youtuber i'm still trying to get in the swing of everything but you know i see some of y'all like me and y'all subscribing so i appreciate y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel go over to my tiktok because i am back active on tiktok is king court 601 or you can type in king court vlogs if you're new here go over to my instagram king court 601 underscore and that's with two t's let me know what's up let me know where you from uh, what you want to see on this channel, etc.
etc etc and i'll see y'all in my next video um and go back and watch the vlogs you know i, I work hard on these vlogs so go back and watch the vlogs i love y'all casey gang and i'll see y'all in my next video bye